What is up guys, Apathy, you are Pro Player Apathy, back in the building with another YouTube video today, and I'll be doing a q and A. I I love doing these just because you guys get to know a little bit more about myself, and anything, any cool, or any other questions you guys might have asked. Today I got some very awesome and good questions, I decided to choose things that haven't been really asked, or something a little bit different, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, let's get right into it. Tech Sammy asks, do you think you have adapted to playing IW as well as you would have liked so far? And my answer is yes, for the amount of time, I mean... I've put in a pretty good amount of time, so you guys gotta understand, you know, that time has been paying off, but at the same time, I've been slacking lately. But for the most part, you know, when I play, I always play to learn, I always play to try to get better, so yes, I've been playing really well, I've been performing pretty damn well, so I'm pretty happy, you know, with my performance so far, but I definitely know I can improve, and I definitely need to learn a little bit more. Colby Gaming asked me, who is my biggest rival at LANs? And my best answer and my most honest answer is probably gonna have to be Crim6. Now, me and Crim6 are pretty good buddies, you know, we've learned to grow and learn and, and love each other, you know, we're pretty cool with each other now. You know, he just, he's really competitive. He's very, 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 very competitive just the way I am. We both have, you know, very similar mindsets. We both love to win and hate to lose and we do, we would do no matter any, we would do anything in our power to just try to win and, you know, just work so hard for it. So we do have a little rivalry going on, but it's nothing serious right now. Rolling asks, if you come to South Africa, what is the first thing you'd like to do? And to be honest, it'd probably be, it'd probably be to be with the Lions. Like, I would love, you know, I don't know if they have any, like, sort of, sort of zoo or uh, area where the Lions aren't as aggressive or, like, tigers or something, but I would love to just, like, pet or like kind of get close to lion and tiger and just like be friendly with it. Yeah, I know the chances are very slim and I know it's very dangerous. So I don't know how it's gonna go, but that's probably one of the things I would like to do. ZKBCX asks, do I have any hidden talent? And of course I do. I can do this. It's, it's like a snake. Uh, Archip Lash asks, who are the best teams in IW so far? And I'm gonna have to go with FaZe, LG and Space Lee's team. I think those are the top three right now. Big Zanny said, if you could tell the IW developers one thing in the game, what would it be? And to be honest, my answer would be to change the maps. Make a better maps, okay? The game itself, obviously they're working with spawns, they're working on certain things that obviously need work on, but some one thing, if it's one thing I could tell them to change, it will definitely be the maps, man. Maps are so big when it comes to Call of Duty. And right now, you know, Infinite Warfare, the maps are just not that good. They're not. Most of them are pretty bad. So that definitely be a thing. Sir Burns asked me, did you get turned on my scump at champs this year? To be exact, CTF Fringe. I don't know, you tell me. And somehow, the just route's just working around. out perfectly. He's found every gap in the defense. He's shaking him back and forth. He comes up behind. Oh, 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 oh God, he just gets destroyed by Scott. Listen, man. I, I don't, he technically did shit on me, you know? I'll, I'll take it, but, uh, during the end, I did run of I did run out of ammo. Okay, if I had ammo, I, I possibly I probably would have killed him. So it's 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 tough, but he turned on me. Okay, he did it. Bro, Del O2 asked me, how do I keep calm in a pressured S and D map or a match? This is a question that I get asked pretty often, but at the same time, not really. And I think the biggest thing it comes with is experience. You know, the more experienced you are, the more you go to these LAN events, the more you play S&D, you know, you, you get used to this pressure. You get used to being in the situation and you just build this confidence and this tolerance sort of thing. And I think that's the biggest thing. It, you know, if you want to get better at that, it's just being, one, it's having experience. And another thing is just being confident. You know, if you're, let's say, in your 1v1 S&D 5-5 last map for $100,000, right? You know, you have to be confident. Like, if you play nervous, if you play scared, it's gonna hinder your gaming, it's gonna hinder your skill, and I feel like you you have a higher chance of choking, you know? But if you play confident, you play with like, you know, I'm gonna win this shit, you play smart, you play good, there's a high chance you're gonna win it. So that's definitely two things I would, you know, to help. Slack asks, what does LGB, LGB, LGB dab mean? Well, it basically means Slack, let's go baby, let's go baby, dab. Rewind asks me, how confident are you going to Vegas? Good luck, by the way. Thank you, brother. And honestly, Somewhat confident, you know, I'm always confident with my team. I think we have a lot of potential I think my teammates are really skillful and I know what I bring to the table I know that I'm capable of of you know doing good and going off as well So and with 
us having less practice compared to a lot of other teams. We're going to have definitely less practice because of the wedding and everything. Uh, it's not that huge of a difference. We still have been practicing. We're looking pretty good right now. But I know we're still going to be probably a little bit behind or I'm going to try to catch up as much uh, when I come back from my honeymoon. I still have like four days left of practice. So we're definitely going to be going hard those four days. Um, but overall, uh, I'm not like the, the, the most confident because I know we're not like to be the, the best prepared possible. Best as prepared possible. You know what I mean? Possible. But uh, definitely should be, I'm uh, definitely still feeling a little confident. You know, we'll go in and do our thing and just see how it goes. A Geek of Nature asked me, when a new card comes out, do I have legitimate fears that I may not be good enough at it to succeed? And the question is, no, not really. When you've been playing Call of Duty as long as I have, there's mu not much changes, to be honest. Not much changes, you know. It's a basic, you know, shoot, fly, or don't fly, boots on the ground, boots on the ground. Like, it's it's the same concept. It, like, you just, you know, an SD, you know, you know when to check bomb, you know, timings. Like, overall, all you're learning is, uh, like, more situational plays, like the maps, the bomb spots, you know, spawn traps, setups. Like, for the most part, it's kind of like a circle. Like, it's a circle, you know, just... It just goes around. It's the same. It's the same concept for the most part. So not really, you know. I, and plus, I just go into these new Call of Duties feeling confident and just to improve and to get better. Because if I if I go to a new Call of Duty, you know, like half ass and don't really put in the time, don't really try to get better, improve, then obviously I'm gonna suck. You know, it's just all about the worth ethic and just just knowing, you know, the the old stuff from the previous Call of Duties. Seaman asked me for those who are doubted and receive tons of shit for wanting to be pro. What advice can I give them? My best advice I would give you and to all of those people is who cares what people think? Don't let don't let what people think bother you or change your mindset or anything like that. You know, do what you love, do what you want to do. It's your life. Who cares about what anyone else thinks, man? Completely disregard that. If you want to be pro, if you want to do that, if that makes if that makes you happy, then you go ahead and do it, man. Don't care what other people think. That's the number one advice I can give you. Gerardo Dark asked me, who is your role model? The one and only, Killa. Okay, seriously, I don't really have a role model, like to say, I mean, I don't know. I, I've, I've mentioned this before in the previous Q&As, Q &As, you know, say Q&As, Q&As. Sorry if, I, if you guys heard that wrong, uh, but it's just... I don't know, I'm just, anyone who's like successful and anyone who's like, who worked hard for and who's good, just like, you know, I guess I consider dumb kind of a role model, but I don't have exactly one person or, you know, someone who I look up to right now or anything like that. Macho CWKL asked me, thoughts on propulsion? <sighs> thoughts on propulsion? That thing needs to go, seriously, that is the, you guys don't understand how, like, we're the only one of the only teams not using it right now. We're, we're now going to PSX, uh, the Invitational event, which apparently people are going to be using it there. So I don't know, but we just choose not to use it because it's so gay and unfair. And then other teams, when we scream them and stuff, are using it, and it literally infuriates me. Like there's there's not many stuff that pisses me off. You guys know that, but that is one thing that when I see he's flying around a thousand feet in the air, shooting down on my teammates. Oh my god, I just want to like tell this guy like, dude, if you don't. Now we're gonna fucking fight like something like that. You know, it's crazy man royalty asked me What are my goals this year now that I'm pretty established and I have a good team? I'll say one of my goals is to win at least five events this year now There's probably gonna be I heard there's gonna be a lot more events So I think five events is pretty decent. You know, it's gonna be difficult, but that's what I want to do I want to win champs again this year. I want to go for a 2p. I want to be like jcap. So that'd be great uh, I want to have at least 300 subscribers on YouTube. That's gonna be really tough, but I'm gonna work my ass off for it and hopefully we get there and just a bigger stream as well and just everything better, you know. Roadsta asked if they were to remaster new Call of Duty next year, which one would I want and why? I'm gonna give you my answer. Black Ops 2, bada bing, bada boom. How can you not like Black Ops 2? Best competitive game in general, in my opinion. Best uh, competitive Call of Duty competitive game. Overall, great boost in the ground game. A lot of stuff are so good about the game. TTK, maps, spawns, you know, the guns. Like, everything was, like, almost perfectly balanced. So I really love that game. And obviously, things that at times weren't, like, the FAL, uh, the Cat 40s or whatever. The, the fucking dual pistols that, that Rambo's using at Champs. Obviously, but they nerfed those stuff and it, and it got better. But overall, I loved that game. It was so fun to play. So definitely that one. Nepster9 asks me, how will I know when it's time to retire? This is a really good question and I like this one. Honestly, it's very difficult to know the exact time. You sort of have like this year expectation like, all right, at 24, at 23, I'm going to retire at 25. Around that age usually is the retirement age for like Call of Duty players. I remember Rambo retired when he was 25. 
Uh, obviously, I think Clayster's like 24 right now. Some people probably end up playing to like 26, 27. I don't really know. But uh, I'm sort of aiming for the age 24, 25. I'm probably going to end up retiring 25 max. And, you know, it just really comes down to the situation as well. You never know. Maybe when I'm like, let's say I'm 24 and a half. Like, we're thinking the future right now. I'm 24 and a half. Uh, I just got dropped off a team. Uh, one of the best teams and I'm getting no offer sort of like what happened to TP and I'm not gonna you know at that age I'm not gonna continue my stress continue to stress myself to get into a team To to work my work my work my ass off from like halfway to back to the top It's just not worth it, you know at that point just retire and you know move on to something else So it's really situational it really depends, but you know kind of what I just said we'll see mark asked how long have I and Maria been together for and by the way I love you I love you too and we've been together for almost five years now on january 20th it will be five years so about four years almost 11 months so far so we're getting there we're, we're getting there we've been together for a decent amount of time since high school uh senior year and it's been a it's been a great time call of ron asked me what would you do if he got kicked out of envy honestly i don't know that is a tough question i'll be completely honest I, I don't see myself getting kicked out of NV, but you never know the possibilities, you know, never, you never know, let's say a top player gets dropped and I'm not just performing well and they're like, you know, we're sorry, you're an Apple player, we're going to have to drop, you know, replace you. I'm just like, well, you guys got to do what you got to do. And then, uh, honestly, man, if I ever got dropped, I would definitely try to uh, move into another top team, at least like a top four team, uh, probably, you know, FaZe, Optic uh rise or lg something along those lines you know I'm trying to aim for those teams so that would be my best bet you know just uh it's it's a tough spot the davy j asked me if i could continue one only youtube or twitch uh i guess which one would i choose i'd probably have to go with youtube i love streaming i love interacting with you guys you know every day when i'm streaming and having fun and streaming call of duty what i love to do but realistically especially in the long term youtube's like where's my heart at it's what i really started and what i love to do you know i started youtube about two and a half years ago when i was on tk and you know, i just love it i love everything about it i love like just making videos and being creative and you know having fans interact with you and talk to you in the comments and like like support you and like your videos i just love a lot of things about youtube but they're, they're both really close i'm not gonna lie i love streaming too and i love the support i get on stream it's amazing you guys are fucking amazing in general but I'll, I'll probably have to say YouTube. Okay, that concludes my Q&A. Thank you so much if you watched the whole video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And I hope the questions were awesome. I had a ton of fun answering them. So I hope you guys enjoyed them as well. Don't forget to like, comment down below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm trying to post a video every single day. I'm trying to go hard. You know, I'm trying to make this a dream come true. This has been your boy, Apathy. Have a good day, y'all. And I'm out. Peace.